Hello there warriors! Coming up next, implementation of light and dark mode using ShadCN inside the Next.js project. We are going to implement it inside the Orkish AI Next.js framework. Maybe you already know this one from one of my previous videos. What this framework does is it just implements the ChatGPT4 and Dolly3 image. So what you can do is just type in anything you want and AI is going to return the result. So we are going to implement the mod toggle button here from ShadCN that is going to change our whole page from this current, let's call it light mode. This is basically default mode, no CSS mode. And we are going to implement dark mode and light mode. So all buttons and text area and footer and everything should change. So let's start by going to ShadCN. We need this one to toggle our light or dark mode. So we go to components, here we have dark mode and we are going to choose Next.js. So now we are just going to follow whatever the steps we need from ShadCN documentation. So first thing we are going to install Next Teams. So I'm using PMPM on this project. Installing Next Teams, then second thing is copying the team provider and putting it inside the code. So in the components, I'm going to create a new file and call it teamprovider.tsx. And there I'm going to copy paste everything. Then next, we need to wrap our root layout with the team provider. Okay. So that one should be easy. We go to the layout and here we put here and here our team provider. And now we just need to import it. And there it is in the components. But I just want to make sure that team provider can be called from here like footer and header. So I'm going to go to my index file inside the components yes and here we need to call team provider and that one is in the root folder of the components and it's without the folder so it's called like this and now inside the layout we can just put the team provider here and yes now it should be good and what's the next step it's to add a mod toggle component so I'm going to take this code and inside the components, I'm going to put it inside the shared UI. So there I'm going to create the mod toggle folder and inside the mod toggle.tsx component. And there I'm going to paste everything we have. So here it's asking for a button and the button is in the components. We already have it. That one is from ShadCN also. And this one is drop down menu. I think we don't have this one. Let me check drop down. Nope. Let's find it inside the ShadCN. So here we should have drop down menu. I think that's the one. Yes, drop down menu. So that one we need i'm going to copy it like this okay so we need to install this one first we're going to do another pmpm install this redix ui react drop down menu and when that one is installed we're going to take this component and create a new shared ui component that one is going to be drop down menu and inside the file drop down menu also dot tsx i'm copy pasting everything everything looks fine without type errors yes and now is it complaining yeah because we need to add it also inside our index so here i'm going to put drop down menu that one looks good let's put it like a stairs to look nice and now mod toggle we are going to import it through components 
so basically uh, what's this okay that is probably in the drop down menu export yes we are going to go to the index here and export everything let's go where it, let's see where it fits here okay now it should be good yes and we can put the button also here and remove this one now everything looks nice let's see if it works so now we are going to our main page there is only one page here so no we are going to header let's close all the other files uh, here we have next auth authentication it's currently disabled but we can use the same thing from here and import the mod toggle oh we forgot to put the mod toggle also here so mod toggle and that one should be the first yes and now here mod toggle here it is and now let's see the result let's close this one here it is oh everything is already dark and if we go to light it works let's go to dark again okay footer is not visible and these buttons they should have active state let's see yeah active state is black so in the dark mode it's not visible let's fix these problems quickly so first thing these active states so here we should have that is the ai selector and those are these buttons with the outlines and we have so when the method is selected we have the background black but we can put if it's dark mode then it should be maybe some background gray 800 let's try that for both of our buttons so now oh it's almost i think completely the same like the hover <laughs> interesting yes now it looks nice we can also put this button down there to be the what's that oh that's the completion component we can put variant outline and i think the same thing should be in the whoops in the image component here it is so let's see now how it looks yes looks great let's see in the light mode in light mode also and this one okay that's awesome let's fix now that footer in the dark mode it's completely invisible so we should probably put something like oh i already have some dark colors i don't know for what dark i can put text black maybe and also i don't know what is this border doing here but let's put also the gray 800 maybe oh but then this one should be white right maybe we don't have to put anything here let's try it out yes now it, it it's visible at least let's see the light mode okay that one i know it's not that beautiful but i love it that's like my made with x footer that i use everywhere let's try now if i put again oh here we have a problem okay so this one is in dark mode i wonder how is this possible this shed cn should be in dark mode it should be okay but let's fix that one so that's the again the completion text area maybe there is oh there is already something that's why it's let me try to remove it just to see what happens oh okay so it definitely needs something i need everything probably except this one let's try it out now and yes now it looks okay but for the image it will probably be bad yes let's go to the image component also remove that dark text black okay save it looking nice let's now give me 
10 orcish names again. GIF is looking good and text also looking good. And let me see the light mode. Yes. Nice. And now finally, let's try the image. Give me an image of orc working on a computer. Let's see the, I mean, image should be okay. There is nothing special. It's just the image component going down here and displaying the Dolly 3 image model image, which AI returns. So what we, let's quickly try. Yes, in light mode, the GIF is also working and the dark mode. Yeah, here he is with the coffee and everything. <laughs> That's it. We have now whole AI framework working with light and dark mode. And there is also the system mode, which is by default on. So whatever your system settings is, it is going to be here as well. Well, this was easy. Shadzian is really such a powerful library. You definitely got to use it. Warriors, if you want more content like this, Subscribe to this channel and also if you didn't know there is a discord channel org dev you can join the horde there and There are already 20 plus persons. So don't be afraid come in. There is a code reviews Then there is a tavern There is a warm welcome for any warrior willing to join you can raise any questions there We can talk about code. We can talk about projects or we can just chit chat about random orcish stuff join the horde farewell warriors